The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To find the greatest common factor between these two monomials, we're just going to combine some of the ideas that we've used so far in this section. First of all, let's take a look at the numbers or the coefficients. 24 and 16 and set up a factor tree for each of those. 24 is 2 times 12, which is 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. 16 is 2 times 8, which is 2 times 4, which is 2 times 2. Within these factor trees, we need to look for factors that match up. We have a 2 that matches up. We have another 2 that matches up, and we have a third two that matches up. So our greatest common factor for 24 and 16 will be 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. Now let's look at the variables. Remember that the variable must appear in both monomials in order for it to qualify for the greatest common factor. A and B are in both, so they'll both qualify. The greatest common factor will use the smallest power on each of those variables. Since we have an a cubed and an a squared, the greatest common factor will use a squared. Since we have a b and a b squared, the greatest common factor will use b. The answer, therefore, is 8a squared b.